stress and I feel like I'm stressing up on the beat. So here he is, the inimitable former UFC champion, Yuri Prohaska. And I say former, but never lost the belt in the octagon. 13 consecutive wins when injury intervened. Yuri Prohaska is an absolute savage. This is a guy that made his way to the UFC in a very short period of time, became the champion. He has tremendous power. He has an uncanny ability to find the shot that ends his opponent's night. He's scary. He is a true mixed martial artist, or martial artist, as I say, with the mind of a champion. And it's very exciting to see Yuri Prohaska back in the octagon. And I'm glad you bring up the championship mindset, because anyone who may be doubted as to whether or not he had the ticker, you got your answers in Singapore at UFC 275. Let's see how it goes for Prohaska here tonight. We have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, took it all the way to the title, and tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. for this light heavyweight tilt. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Referee for this one. Ready. Go. All right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base, Team Mobile Arena, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC live event. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by Pereira. Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he got right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has the corner hurt very badly again. Well, watch. 
why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Heavy kick downstairs. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Pro Hosko. Right hand. That one landed clean. Man, not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Nice leg kick. Well, you can spot that wide base, that stance of Yuri Prohaska from a mile away. His opponent didn't see that right hand coming. Yeah, that right hand is, is tremendous from Yuri Prohaska. But that right hand starts with that wide base, with his ability to draw your mistake, and then he always capitalizes on it. Pretty good jab there by Prohaska. Two minutes have ripped off the round one clock. Straight right, he misses. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, late in the round here, and there is that patented upright stance out of Alex Pereira. He has gotten a lot done out of that stance tonight. I mean, it's the striking, and it always will be the striking. He's very tall in his stance, but he's in a more traditional kickboxing type of stance. This isn't a guy that is fighting in a hybrid stance for MMA. He's fighting like he did in kickboxing. He's found a lot of success with it, and he generates a ton of power even though he doesn't seem to have the ability to sit down on his strikes. Oh, nice. Three, two, three. There's the kick, it's blocked. Nice straight right, Lance. Prohaska's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Pretty good straight punch there by Pereira. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice jab to the head by Pro Hoska. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Yeah, that punch was blocked. 15 seconds. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Prohaska's now dealing with a cheat cut. Wow. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? You ready. Here we are, early round two. Oh, nice strike landed there by Pereira. 
Well, there it is again, that left hook from Alex Pereira. He is in the zone tonight, Chief. I'm surprised you're still standing, because Alex Pereira lands that left hook, generally you go to sleep. The guy is as powerful as anyone that we have seen in the UFC middleweight division. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Nice job by him defensively there. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. He missed with that jab attempt there. That's a big hook. Pareda's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. What a great job getting that kick to the target. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, my goodness, what a right hand. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Pereira's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that open. For ben. Pareda's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slow. Lands a shot to the leg. Prohaska gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Oh. Oh, no. Back to his feet. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a oh, 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 that's over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. That blood becoming a real factor. Oh, he hurt him again. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Unable to land with that punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. 30 seconds to go in round two. All right, well, he's going to have to go back to the drawing board defensively, but in terms of this fight, he's been totally dominated, and that swelling's getting out of control. The swelling's getting out of control. We can't even tell who's in front of us anymore. This guy has been beat from start to finish. Best rounds of the year.
All right, so both fighters severely damaged. That's probably not overstating it. I'm not even sure how we made it to the end of the round, but here we are, and the fight continues. I, I thought it was done. I mean, both of these guys are so swollen and so beat up that if either corner said, hey, enough is enough, I wouldn't complain one bit. All right, we're going to look at some replays as they attend to the two damaged athletes in between rounds. I mean, they're just getting after each other from the very start. It seemed like as soon as one got hit, they made the determination that I'm going to out-tough you. And by trying to out-tough each other, they are having a fun fight for the fans. I just don't know if it's great for the longevity of the career. Yeah, you put that well. This is truly one of those bite-down-on-the-gum-shield type fights. Remarkably, we have arrived at the next round. Let's see how it goes. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home. Oh, oh he's got him hurt here. He cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Nice strike lands from the bottom. Part. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Pineda's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. going to step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there? Nose shot. <laughs> but John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. Crowd getting a little bit restless. Doctor has to tune out that noise, but at least for now, they will allow him to fight on. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back on the way. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on his shield, and that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they are thrilled. They start booing, and sometimes guys' eye is hit. Oh, oh you got to start to look to finish him now. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pineda. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight. All right, so at this point, the ringside position would be well within his right to stop the fight as the referee calls for him once again. We get it. Toughness on full display, but this damage is too much. you got to stop the fight. Yeah, and he wants to continue, but he will not be afforded that opportunity. So that is it. Fans don't like it, but the doctor has to protect the fighters. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Yuri Denisa Bushata. Say less.